across the world. But in some countries in the world, are, as many of you probably know, treated as chattel, less than human. They are used as a punching bag by their spouse or intimate other or whatever, the poor society, the poor, they get away with it because the society or the religion or both in that country condone it or at least look the other way. Those individuals, those women under proper circumstances do have claims for political asylum even though we're talking about domestic violence. We can discuss that in more depth at another point, or you may want to bring it up in more depth later. Well, I mean, it used to be very difficult to bring a domestic violence asylum case uh, because the law didn't recognize it as one of the five prongs. Um, and so lawyers were being creative and putting it in the category of membership in a particular social group. So you would say, for example, that, um, uh, that your client is a Kenyan woman uh, whose political opinion, she's opposed to her spouse beating her, and she's a member of Kenyan women who are opposed to being beaten by their spouses, yeah. So there was always all this debate in the course about whether that was a legitimate social group or not. And I think it was last year, right, when they finally, that there was a, a huge case of a, a Guatemalan woman, and it's been going on for years, and finally the, um, the Attorney General uh, said that her case was valid and that you could apply for asylum based on domestic violence. And now there's sort of a whole body of law and there are a, a few, some regulations in place that you can it's follow. Still it's still hard though, but it's, at least it's, I mean, it's, they recognize it now where they yeah, didn't before. Different. Yeah. I have my problems with their recognition. I know, I know you do. <laughs> All right, move on. <laughs> The other issue I want to talk to you about, though, is inadmissibility grounds. And I can't stress this enough. Someone comes to the United States lawfully. Let's say they enter on a tourist visa. And the tourist visa was valid for three months, but they overstayed. And they remain in the United States after the expiration of their visa by, let's say, six months. Once they've remained in the United States out of status for six months or longer, they have a bar of three years on their re-entry to the United States if they ever depart the United States. If they're in the United States for longer than one year, they now have a 10-year bar if they leave the United States. In many respects, 